Hey, welcome back to Vino Mexico, your weekly wine show about all of the great wines being produced down here in Mexico. Your one-stop resource for everything you need to know. And this is a little sip of Vino Mexico. It's Thursday, it's almost Friday, the Double Club Challenge is almost on its way, it's almost here. Right now, in a little sip, we're going to be taking a look at one of the other wineries down here in Mexico. Once again, from Ensenada in the Baja California and the Valle de Guadalupe. Don't worry too much about this, the Valle de Guadalupe is turning out to be something of a, a Bordeaux or a Rhone. So it doesn't really matter how many wineries are there, they're all great. This time, we are looking at the Torres Alegre y Familia winery in Ensenada in the Baja California otherwise known as Dr. Victor Torres Alegre, maker of the Torres Alegre y Familia range of wines, and also the maker of the Cru Garage range of wines from the Torres Alegre y Familia stable. This is one of the more, shall we say, enigmatic uh, vinicolas or vinicolas or wineries here in, in Mexico. Um, this is the only enologist here in Mexico who holds a doctorate in enology from Bordeaux. This is a guy who has more than 30 years experience in making wine. This is a guy who is putting quality above quantity more than anything else. This is a guy who will make a bottle of wine in a champagne fashion. If it's not good enough, it will not be released as the Crew Garage range. This is the highest end of wine that you can get here in Mexico. And having met this gentleman, found him to be extremely approachable, extremely knowledgeable, extremely passionate about his wine, it is easy to understand why the wines that we have here in the Crew Garage range are absolutely wonderful. Don't just take my word for it. If you look on TripAdvisor for the Torres Alegre wineries um, reviews, you will see such words as innovative, excellent, best wine in Valle de Guadalupe, groundbreaking. These are some serious words that are being thrown around. Uh, currently, they have a YouTube channel. They have a Facebook channel. They do not have a website at the moment, but it seems they are, are going to be getting that together. Um, however, there is contact details um, on the Facebook and the YouTube channel. So if you want to get in contact with them, I'm quite sure that uh, Dr. Victor Torres will absolutely be able to help you. He's a very, very approachable, very, very friendly gentleman. There's a lot of information already on YouTube, so I advise you to check it out. And also, where you can find them, get hold of these bottles of wine. They are not cheap. These bottles of wine will set you back between 1,000 and 1,500 pesos. Roughly about 70, 50 to 75 dollars which for a high-end bottle of wine, I mean, this is going to be challenging anything that's coming out of Bordeaux, it's challenging anything that's coming out of Duaro, it's challenging anything that's coming out of Argentina, anywhere in the world, this is right up there. So far, out of these two wines, we have here the Nebbiolo 2013. Look at the artistry on the front of that bottle, it is spectacular, if you like that type of wine. All of the ranges of wine have strange leaf patterns on them. This is the Grenache 2011. Dr. Victor, if you see this, when I spoke to you, we said we were going to buy a bottle from you. We finally found one. We did get it. So I'm really happy. This is an excellent wine. Leaf pattern again. Another little thing on the back. Okay, so if you want to look up this winery, look up on YouTube. Look up Torres Alegre. That's T O R E S A L E G R E. Little words down here. If you want to look at them on Facebook, also look up Torres, Torres Alegre y Familia. That's Y and Familia. Also little words down here. Well advised to check them out. This has been The Little Sit. If you're liking these things, don't forget to comment. Tell us what you want. Advise the wine. Tell us exactly what you want us to look at and we will look at it. If you want us to review your wines, get in contact with us. Send me an inbox. We will do this. If you have anything to say, let us know. But above all, like this, subscribe. Keep this going, and we will be back tomorrow night with our second installment of the Solo Fortuna Wines when we are going to be doing the O Positivo. So, until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Salud, and remember, there is always Vino Mexico.